welcome to Black Docs Talk, COVID and the COVID vaccine. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Johnson. And I'm Dr. Angu. Let's get into this. Today, we're answering some of those follow-up questions from our live Q&A session that we had on MLK Day. So let's get to our first question. So someone wrote in saying, please speak to the precautions you should take when you get the vaccine. Should we pre-medicate? So that's a great question. A lot of people might want to pre-medicate um, before getting the vaccine, but it is recommended that you do not pre-medicate and only give yourself Tylenol or ibuprofen if you develop symptoms um, post-vaccination, such as fever or body aches. Our next question is, I have an allergy to iodine. Does that affect me getting the COVID vaccine? So that's actually a great question. It really should not affect you getting the COVID vaccine. Um, only precautions that are given in terms of allergies in the vaccine is if you are actually allergic to any of the vaccine products, okay? Um, which involves our mRNA, uh, we have um, a liponucleotide, uh, sugar, and salt. Now, if you've had reactions to vaccines in the past, uh, you should, of course, you let the person know who's giving you the shot beforehand, and they're going to make you sit a little bit longer after you get your vaccine. But you should be able to get it regardless of if you've had an iodine allergy. And another question that we have is, I'm allergic to shellfish. Should I bring my EpiPen with me when I get my COVID vaccine? Well, actually, you should not have to worry if you are allergic to shellfish because that's not something that is used in this vaccine. Again, you know, as I said in the uh, last question, the ingredients are the mRNA, the liponucleotide, which is basically a fat globule, sugar, and salt, okay? However, you should always carry your EpiPen. Always. Always. Okay, could we have our next question, please? May we clarify allergic response versus side effects to the COVID vaccine? Yes, we can. So I just want to just clarify that overall phrase of side effects. Uh, really, you should think about it as an immune response, and it's an appropriate immune response that people can experience. So those are things like headaches, body aches, a fever, um, soreness at the injection site. That's something that can happen with any vaccine uh, because your body is mounting an immune response. So it's doing its job uh, versus an allergic reaction. So if someone's having an allergic reaction, uh, they can have swelling of their lips, tongue, swelling of the throat. Um, uh, you can hear something that we call strider where it's like <laughs> wheezing, hives, um, or um, those are all symptoms that are related to anything like allergy related. Uh, if you have more than one symptom and more than one system, that is anaphylaxis. So if I have hives and I'm wheezing, of course you should go to the hospital, okay? However, I just wanna clarify again that this is why if you have any history of allergies, you inform the person who's giving you the vaccine beforehand and they will have you sit for 30 minutes, okay? To make sure that you aren't having um, any type of symptoms or reactions. And then if you do within the next 48 hours, of course, please go to the hospital. All right. So let's get into our next question. If you receive one vaccine, is it necessary to get the same the second time? So it is recommended that whatever vaccine type you got the first time, you should also get the second time. For example, if you got Moderna the first time, you should get the Moderna vaccine the second time. Or if you got the Pfizer vaccine the first time, then you should get the Pfizer vaccine the second time. Let's get into the next question. How long is one protected after receiving the second dose of the COVID vaccine? Actually, we currently don't exactly know how long one is protected after getting the vaccine because studies are still currently going on. So you guys know from, if you watched our live Q&A session that we're always gonna be transparent and honest with you. We're gonna let you know what we know and what we don't know. And like Dr. Agu uh, stated, things are still being studied. So whether it's from eight months to a year, we are not clear on that quite yet. So this is why you still need to wear your mask, please, okay? Wear your mask. Question is, 
If an individual contracts COVID in between doses, how long should they wait before obtaining the second vaccine? So a person should wait until their symptoms resolve until they get um, the second dose of the vaccine. Now, if you have not started the vaccine series at all and you are interested in getting the vaccine, but you did find out that you were COVID positive, then you should also wait until your symptoms are resolved before getting the vaccine. So let's have our last question. If you have not had any vaccine since you were a child, should you take the COVID vaccine? The answer is pretty simple, yes. Yes. No matter when your last vaccine was, or if you've never had vaccines before, you can still get the COVID-19 vaccine. This is what we need to protect ourselves and to really get through this pandemic. Thank you guys for tuning in to Black Docs Talk, COVID and the COVID vaccine. We enjoyed answering your questions and we'll be doing this in the future as well. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that to our video. <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> but we're giving you guys more content. Yep. What she said. <laughs>